Hey guys, it's been a while since I did a YouTube tutorial. Um, I'm gonna try to make this chevron nail. I've never done it before, so I'm really hoping it works out, okay? So I, um, I kind of made a draft, if you will, of what it would look like. Basically, I call this like virtually polished. So I'm trying to make a mini that looks like this. That's my hand that I virtually polished with um, Tranquil Waters, Swiss Intel, and Mojave Gold. Okay, so this, the chevron nail on the ring finger, that's what I'm gonna try to make. And hopefully it won't be too hard. So we'll see. Um, so first, you know, you have your three colors or whatever colors that you like. I chose um, Mojave Gold, let me just show it. Mojave Gold right here, along with Tranquil Waters and Swiss Intel, which I have right here, sorry. So let me just put those three colors together actually so you could see what they look like. So these three colors is the chevron nail that I plan to do. I um, mean, hopefully it's gonna come out looking like I envision it. Okay, so first um, you're gonna have to layer these chevron stripes onto a strip of clear as day. I've already gone and started a little bit. This is what it looks like that I started and I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to do it. Um, so my next color that I have to add stripe-wise to this is the gold. How I do it when I'm cutting out any kind of shape or strip of, you know, a stripe from a strip, I put it on wax paper, which this is. I'm just gonna get rid of some excess. And then I'm just gonna cut as straight as I can. Okay, that looks good. All right, and then I'm gonna pull this strip off. Sorry. All right, I'm gonna pull that strip off, okay. And then I'm gonna add it to my nail that I'm building, which is right here. So let's put it back on. Okay, there that. Then I will do the Swiss and Tell next again, which I have here. I'm gonna cut it. Hold on. I think I need to put it on wax paper because this angle is a little weird for me. So I'm gonna put it on the wax paper. Okay, and then I will cut as straight as I can to try and make the thickness uniform throughout. All right, I got my little stripe. I'm gonna add it to my strip. Okay, next I have my Tranquil Waters stripe I have to add. You can obviously make this as thick or thin as you like, whatever your preference is. And you don't even have to make it chevron if you don't want to. But I just wanted to give it a try. Okay, then back to my gold. This is copyright free music, FYI. Okay. Got my gold stripe to add. Done. Okay, then I have to add another strip of the white. Okay, um, I will do the rest off camera so this doesn't take forever. 
Okay, so I've added all the stripes on and it's okay if it hangs off because all you do is you turn it over and just snip away at all the excess off the edges as best you can. And any other excess that you might have left over, you could just perforate that later after you've applied it to your nail. Okay. Definitely need to use like a baby nail scissor for this. Otherwise, it's just gonna stick to your, to the steel of the scissor and it's just, it's just gonna get all over the place. You need something thin um, and fine like this. Okay, so this is what the final nail looks like, I guess you could say, at least one half of the chevron. I'm gonna quickly do this one. All right, I'm gonna cut the edges off that side. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna do this off camera to save time. Okay, so I have my two strips, um, the striped that I'm gonna cut in half, each one, di um, each one down, the, down the middle, and that way you can put them together to make the chevron design. Okay, so leave the white backing on this. Leave that silver tab, okay? So I'm gonna, this one's a little off, but again, this is my first time and I just did my best. So I'm gonna cut down the lot, down the middle for that one. And then for this one as well, I'm gonna cut right down the middle. My thumbnail has a break in it, as you can probably see, and it's hideous, but I'm gonna cover it up with some Color Street in just a bit. I don't know which is which. Oh, you know how I can tell? Don't ask how chocolate got on this. It may or may not have been me. Okay, so that no, was me. Um, all right, I just wanna make sure I have the right halves of each. So I'm gonna put one half here, one half there. It doesn't really matter. See how it lines up? I mean, it may not line up perfectly. I'm gonna line it up the best I can. Um, I guess we'll see. Sorry, right, hold on. Just trying to think here. No, that doesn't work. All right. All right, sorry about that. All right. I don't know why I say sorry about that because when I pause, you guys are not waiting anyway. So, all right, here we go. I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> I hope it works. I hope it lines up. All right, so here is the first strip, first half of the chevron strip. All right, I'm gonna apply it. Hold on. All right, there, there's the first part of it. Perforate. Okay, I'll save that in case for later. And then here is the other half. I gotta make sure it meets perfectly. Or close to perfect. That's pretty good, I think. Perforate. Save in case I need it for another nail, like maybe my pinky or something. Save this for my ring finger on my other hand. And, um, oh. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. You know, it's it's not easy to line it up perfectly, but you play with the pieces together, and if it's off and you need to like make it die, like, okay, let me explain. If you see closely here, it's off a little bit. You can see some of the lines are off, especially this green here. If you are able to sort of fix the angle at which they meet you see now how see how now it's perfect that's what i did with the with the nail i just applied um yeah just find where it meets and then figure out where that excess is or you could just overlap them it's fine overlap them and then put some uh, clear as day on top 
or wet coat actually i would put wet coat clear as day it's gonna i think just make it too chunky if you put like a cuticle strengthener or just like a wet top coat i think that'll make it better so that's that nail all right i'm gonna go ahead and apply color street on the other nails um it's been a while since i've applied anything online on youtube or anything but um i'll pause so you don't have to sit through this whole thing all right Okay, I'm quickly unpausing here because I want to show you what I do with these little, I guess you can call them little notches sometimes on the other tab side. Instead of picking it off, because you don't want to do that, you're going to leave a little groove, and a, you know, an empty groove. I just take the scissor, I move the strip on the wax paper so I could take the scissor and just snip off that teeny little, super tiny little piece. There. It's off, okay, and then... You can then apply it to your other nail to smooth out, you know, the tab side is a little, I don't know if bumpy is a word, but yeah, you get it. Okay, so I put all the color street on. Um, I put a gold line down my middle finger only. So this is my right hand, um, the white Swiss until I left as is, which is, it looks fine like this. And then on my right hand, just to see what it looked like, I put a gold strip. So I don't know which one is better. I like both. Um, yeah, and the thumbs I did different colors just because I ran out of strips. So that's that. I hope you like the look and I hope you'll give it a try. Um, I have yet to put on cuticle strengthener on my nails. Um, but I might even recommend doing OPI plumping top coat on the chevron nail because, you know, what, because it's split in half, there may or may not be a little bit of overlap and the OPI plumping top coat can sort of even that out in that it, and that it, you know, plumps up everything. So it might kind of, in a way, blend it together, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, just comment anytime. You, know, you can send me a message anytime. Um, I put, I'll put all my info in the comments. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.